Hello, everyone. Today I came with a very interesting topic in Copilot. How to work with the for all loop function in Copilot and many other useful functions in Copilot Studio. These functions are very much needed in your day to day work while you work with Copilot Studio. These functions are quite similar to Power Apps functions, so if you know Power Apps development, this will be easy for you. For this, I have created a custom topic. This is my custom copilot, and this is my custom topic here. I have added a couple of phrases to ensure that my topic gets triggered. When I type something with respect to copilot formula testing, I have created an adaptive card form here. This looks like a customer data entry form. Once I enter the custom details, I can display customer details after transformation using the formula feature of Copilot. In the message node, I'm displaying the transformed values. So this is what I have customer. done here. So yeah, it is very interesting and you can use this concept in your Copilot. First, I will explain about the for all loop in Copilot. How can we work with the for all loop in Copilot? Right? Here in Copilot, the way of working with variables is a little different. It's quite different than other programming languages. What you are familiar with, so, in order to work with. For the for all loop, we first need an array collection to iterate through each item in the collection. For that, I have added a set variable node. I have created a new variable. This is the one I created, and for the value I have passed this text. This is nothing but a sample array of orders. So this is my order collection here, which I have designed and created here, and this I have passed in. This text or string variable this is what I have done. Here, let's delete this out. The second thing I've done is converted this string variable to a record, as this is a string data type. In order to loop through each item from a collection, we need to parse this string data. So what I did is I just went to add a parse value node. I added parse value node. Then I selected this variable. I have selected the sample orders string variable. Select the data type as from sample data. The next thing is what I'll do is I'll just copy, paste this JSON.
I'll just copy this. Then click on the get schema from sample JSON. I'll just copy paste my sample orders JSON here. So look at this. Observe this. What is happening here? I will save this in another variable. I will create a new variable. Just notice the moment. I will save this. The data type will be changed to record. Okay, now let's save this. The moment. I save this. This will be changed to record data type automatically. Let's save this out. See, the moment. I save this. The data type changed to record. I don't need this as already. I have implemented here. I will be referring to that node in this demo. Just delete this one. Now I have this record. I got this record. This is the variable where I stored this record. Let us click on this pencil icon to see the schema. Now we can see that schema has been converted to a record. Right, then what I am doing is this, which is the interesting thing. I will loop through this record and display the values in a message node. How can we add a message node? Just select the send a message node. And this is what I added it. I'll just show how did I add that. This is my message text I have written here. Looped through each order from the orders here. This is the formula for all. And then select the topic. And this topic, once you type dot. You can select your record variable and proceed on. You will get all the resources used in this video from my blog post, which I'll mention in the comment section. You can display order, price, and quantity from you record. So this is how I have implemented this. For each or for all loop in Copilot. Now what I'll do is, I'll explain other functions and then go for a demo. First, let me explain a little bit about other functions that I have used. Here I have explained how to calculate or how to use for all loop and copilot, and though I've used the sample static array here. You can integrate this logic with your dynamic data source using Power Automate Flow, Custom API, Custom Connector, and HTTP Request, and your data array could be a dynamic one. In the next video, I'll show you how to implement this using the dynamic data source. It will be very interesting. And this will be very helpful for you. Now I'll go to the conditional function. Part of this formula demo here, conditional logic. Formula. What I am doing here is, if the booking date is greater than 14, then the customer is eligible for a discount, otherwise not.
This is how this formula handles. So this is conditional. Checking formula and. In this what I am doing, let me check. So if you want to convert your string to uppercase, then you can use this. Here I am converting my customer name to uppercase. I am passing here the topic dot customer name from the adaptive card. Then the customer name will be automatically converted to uppercase. This is what I am doing here. Then in this what I'm doing is, if the customer name is not entered, a guest will be displayed. That means you can use this logic in your business scenario, like if data is not entered for a certain field. What is the default value you want to pass for that? Use this logic, use this formula. formula. All right, and this is the out of the box variable. What is this conversation? ID? This is a system variable. I have selected this. Conversation ID. You can display the conversation ID using this variable. I've consolidated all functions and displayed them in this message box. So now let's test this out how this worked. So in order to trigger. This topic, I'll just type something like formulas in Copilot. So that this formula testing topic should get triggered. This topic should get triggered. Not any other topics. So I have typed here. Let's see. Yes, let's see what is coming here. Exactly, my customer details data entry adaptive card got displayed here. Now, I'll enter customer name as John and price as 100. And the customer type, let it be regular then I will. Just pass the booking date as October 16th, considering the current date is October 1st. This will ensure that the customer is eligible for a discount because this booking date is more than 14 days. Advanced booking, now I'll just pass the 10 digit number for the phone number. The phone number should be 10 digits. Now let's submit this. Submitted. Let's see. I got all expected output from what I explained. This is the conversation ID. Customer name displayed as John. If the customer name was not passed, then it should have been displayed as guest. Since I've passed the customer name, customer name displayed and converted it to uppercase automatically. This is conditional logic formula testing where I am checking if the booking date is greater than 14 days, then the customer is eligible for a discount. Otherwise, they are not eligible. 
Here I am looping through each order from the order's record data type and displaying the each order details in the message node. I can see all my order details displayed perfectly. All the orders I had here in this collection and using this for all loop, I can display, I can see, and it is displayed here. Now I'll do another way of testing. By the way, this is All the functions I've displayed here. What I had explained separately, and it has been displayed in a single message node. So, it is the is the same as what we saw separately. Now, I'll not pass the customer name. I'll keep this just empty. Then the formula will display the customer name as guest. And I'll just pass this booking date as less than 14 days from the current date. This will display that the customer is not eligible for a discount. Customer type as regular, then I'll click on the submit button. Let's see what happens. I'll just reload this chat session. I will type the same text to trigger this topic. Formulas in Copilot. I'll pass customer name as empty, price as 100, customer as regular, booking date less than 14 days from current date, and sample phone number. Let's submit. I can see customer name displayed as a guest. Because I didn't pass customer name and customer is not eligible for discount because this. Booking date is less than 14 days from the current date. I can see all the order details from my orders collection record. Okay, that's all for today's demo. I hope you enjoyed and liked this and if this helped you, please consider subscribing to my channel and help me to grow. And please be with me and you'll get a lot of interesting videos and demos with the latest. Technologies like Gen AI, Copilot, Power Platform, and many more. Thank you.